Crossing there or are we going this way? Going this way. Okay. I have to zoom out. You're so what? You're holding it the wrong way. Shit, again, I forgot. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Like I don't have any character. I love them all. Her icon on Tumblr is Biddy, so if that helps. Also, don't you? Isn't the background on your on your laptop like a pie and this little shit? Yes, it is. Yeah. It is a reference to the Netflix story. God, I love this comedy. Yeah. We, listen, like, I've read the comic as well, but she's like, she's the one who's like, waking me up at two in the morning going, Kate, Kate, something happened, something happened, everything has it happened. Updated. She starts, there's a lot of screaming happening, yes. usually. Um, I actually started reading the comic in the summer between my freshman year of high school, going into my freshman year, and I'm going into my senior oh my year, God, and the comic isn't time. over yet, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm going into my senior year, and it's still not over. That's just me with Homestuck. <laughs> also, I've been calling it since book. I've been calling it since you mentioned that when I texted my friends, I was sending it actually like chat, like page number like 10. When are Biddy and Jack gonna kiss? When is it gonna happen? Mm. And then I got to the end of book two, and like, oh my god, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I do enjoy the comic as well. It's a, it's very well done. And I, I, I remember reading, because I was like reading it all through one night and I was like, wow, your art style, like your art, you've improved yeah. your art. Started, that's what happened when you started Iconic at the beginning of art school and got during it. But yeah. I, so, uh, I remember someone said or some time they're like, because your art style has changed over time, with how big you feel that everyone has changed over time. Maybe, yeah. Symbolism! More <laughs> <laughs> become less harsh and more soft. Some, someone said it. I've also, I think I've seen, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen you do some Good Omens art as well, as somebody who's, uh, yep, I've yeah, seen good omens art recently. yeah, um, as someone who's like living and breathing that, con that, who's this show right now with my girlfriend, it's like, 
Hi, thank you for this no content. Problem. All thank right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You want a hug? Oh, oh shit. Up, up, up. I'm going to have a boy in my life when it's over. I'll be working on a few other things. Hopefully they can do that for you. A little bit. You good? You good, fam? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. I'm home from the convention, so I'm going to do a little haul. Um, first, I'm going to quickly talk about going to con and everything. It's an LGBT-friendly con. I'm really happy I went. It was free for anyone under the age of 21 today, so I went. It's awesome. I have this sick little pin on here from streetjoysbooks.com. I'll link them below, if I remember. Um... So first, actually, I'm in love with a certain comic online named Check Please. You can buy this in physical form. I will link Check Please, the comic down below, the Tumblr, and the website, and also where to buy this book across the world. So I fell in love with this comic back in my freshman year of high school, right before I started my freshman year, actually. And I'm now going into my senior year of high school. So getting to meet this author was incredible, and she was the true reason why I went to um, FlameCon, and I got my book signed. I also got my friend's book signed, which is in my backpack. Um, I got her into Check Please a while back, so it was really awesome getting to get her book signed. I'm not going to show because it has her name, but show you the doodle with her name covered up. If I can, I don't think I can. There it is. Just a cute little baby. Um, so on top of that, another one of the artists I follow on the internet was at this convention without me even realizing. They're called One Small Hurt. I'm going to link their Instagram below. And they have some incredible art, such as how I found them, actually. Shams from Voltron. And they signed it. It says right there, to, for Maggie, thank you so much, Jazz. Um, they're an incredible artist, and I love them so much. And this is not my, f not, like, the art I saw of them that was first, but it is one of my favorite pieces by them. On top of that, I also got this incredible piece by them. And this incredible piece. So all three of these prints are now going to live in with my prints. And also... I buy keychains and pins at conventions. I buy keychains, pins, and prints. But recently it's been prints and keychains. I don't know why, but I bought this pin. It says number one dad and it's Aizawa. And on the back, it's in the sleep and it's like holographic-ish. So that was what I bought. And I wandered around for a long period of time and I decided, you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna buy more check please things so they didn't buy anything at the booth i was like i'll be back to buy something so i bought a lot of things you can't see me a lot of things so first i bought this acrylic sand so you can take him out and put him in here it has a little info on the sheet who he is biddy from checkpleasecomic.com we'll have to remember that for later um and then i also bought this sticker set, which, um, I love stickers, I cover everything in stickers, I'm gonna smack all of these stickers all over my laptop, um, I also don't want to use them at the same time, um, then I bought the year two print set, so every year she really, for every, not every year, but every year, of the comic she releases a print set in the Kickstarter. So this is one of them. I'll just show you all the pieces. This is one of the pieces done by NKM. I do not know this person's social, but it's what is on here, June of 2018. Next piece is all of the Falx going bleh. Um, I do not see this person's, um, watermark. That might be their watermark on down there. I can't read it clearly. Hopefully I'll be able to find it somewhere. If not. Um, the boy, everyone's favorite. Um, G, the CG is the watermark at the bottom. 
don't know who that is as well, but I will try and I think it's probably listed somewhere on her Tumblr. Um, and this is Anne's piece. She did a bitty, which is going to go in Primo location somewhere because I love, I love this piece. There's another piece by her that I love of them, which I didn't get in this, so maybe it wasn't in this, even though it was, but I'm not sure. And then this piece is another one of my favorite pieces. It is signed. It is faded though, which is sad, but it is signed. It is done by... Gabby, I don't have her card. Shit. <laughs> um, this is also another piece which is also signed. Um, MAO. I don't see their watermark on here, but I will try and find their social media. Didn't get this signed. Didn't get this card either. And then this is the final print of the print set. There's one more thing by Joel Joel Rivera. So this is what it looks like. And then there's one more piece of the print set. I didn't realize I had. It's big. It's a printout of the moment before this. Oh, spoiler, by the way. Um, on the ice. So if you haven't read check these, oops, might cut that or put up big spoiler um, thing. But yeah, so that's all my check, please. That's not all my check, please. I'm not done. One more thing. I think I found out what college I'm going to go to. Samuel University. I really love it. It's really, really cool. This, I'm probably gonna, I'm not gonna hang it up there, but that would be a cool place to hang it. Actually, I might hang it up there for now, but um, that's it's living on the bed right now. Um, I got a lot of cards from people because your girl's poor and I did totally drop too much money on art. Oh, something I bought that I forgot I bought was this bisexual card which is the council spoken and i'm just gonna put my name right here which is this card certifies that blank is in fact bisexual made service as incontroversial evidence the certification is not subject to reevaluation by anyone but its owner it is not void or proven further by relationship status preconceived notion or plain old fashion by phobia happiness so i got it it's the one bisexual thing i got at this convention, but I'm happy with it. Also, on top of that, I got lots of cards. Um, I just put them in away, so they're in my drawer, so I won't be able to pull them out. Another thing I bought later on from Jazz is this pin, which is the hearts um, she does on art. She, I, I do not know, I believe. She goes by she and they, so I'm gonna use she and they. Um, but they draw these hearts a lot, and I love them a lot. And it's a big thing that actually people who follow her love a lot is her heart. So that's definitely something I'm really happy to have. And um, this is a postcard from the Street Noise books, which I will link below. But this is a postcard. I really like this drawing, so I'm definitely, I definitely gonna keep it. It's for, I'm a wild seed, and I'm more by of a press queerness, which I will link. Hopefully, if I can find a link for this down below. Um, Takun, they, they were people who sell like merchandise for um, a lot of cool people, I believe. And one more, well, and I think the last thing I officially bought at Flame Con was this big boy print right here, which is it's upside down. And it has some, and it has a second second print in it. It's this big boy, which is a Shiro print from Voltron, which is it's so awesome, and I really love it. And all of the stars on there, if you see them, are hand done by this artist at the table when I bought it. And she um, was incredible, and she said for free, she would throw in this one, which is the other print you could have gotten of Cher, which is a dollar, and that's five. And Cher looks like he's not wearing pants. They confirmed she, he is wearing pants, but it does not look like he's wearing pants. So, I think that's everything that I bought at FlameCon. Trying to remember anything else that I bought. 
No, I think that's everything I bought. Yeah, it's everything I bought at FlameCon. Um, FlameCon was super incredible. I will recommend that anyone and everyone who is queer or not queer, who is um, who is a person of queer, who is a person who's queer or a person who's not queer, or a person who is a a ally or whatever wants to come to FlameCon, I recommend you do come. It's an incredible con. I love it. I loved it. I loved going. I was so happy to go. Um, I definitely want to go back next year. I continue on. Um, FlameCon is super, super accepting as well and super, super helpful and everything because also they had, um, they had a service dog on their thing which shows how, like, accepting they are and they have a person in there, in, on the back that is, uh, in a wheelchair and actually I saw a couple people in, wheel in wheelchairs and a couple people who had walking sticks and super awesome that that convention could be so open to them because they had a wheelchair ramp and they had ways to get to the convention wheeled up and it was so awesome to get to see all of that and I'm so happy that I got to go to FlameCon this year. It's incredible. I will link everyone I can remember's links down below, their Instagrams, their Twitters, their things. All of the art I bought slash just showed you, I will link below. I will link check please. I'll link the books. I will link jazzes. I will link this artist's work. This is incredible. This is says sheer loves you, baby. That's what it says. I can read. Um, but yeah, I really do like this. I do like how this year is drawn. Um, but thank you so much for watching this vlog. That was mostly just a haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys will come back next time I do another vlog like this. If you guys want to see this type of vlogs, tell me, tell me down below. I will gladly do more. And on top of this, um, in the coming few weeks, um, I'm going back to school, and I'm going to vlog that, so you'll witness a new a video of me crying on the first day of school. <sighs> okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I don't know why I kissed... Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and all that good stuff. Please check all the links below. I hope you all enjoy it again. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.